Finding and fixing errors is a really big part of programming. I'm now going to explore a few common errors that we typically make. So we have our print hello world that, we, that we've already written in here. And I'm now intentionally going to put in some errors. So the first common error that people make is to leave out a speech mark. So I'm going to remove the speech mark there. And I'm going now to run the program so that we can see what the error that's going to be produced. So I save it first, file, save, and then run the program. And it tells us that we have an EOL while scanning string literal. Now that message isn't entirely helpful, but at least you have a red bar on here, which indicates the line on which that error was made. So we, we can at least find the line, and then from that, it'll tell us, or we can work out where we've made that error. So EOL while scanning literal means that we have missed off a speech mark. When you've been coding for long enough, these error messages do start to, do, you do get familiar with them and you understand what they mean. Okay, so next common error is missing a bracket off, for example, or having an additional bracket. So I'm gonna, gonna remove a bracket. So again, if I save that and run our program again. So now we have a different type of error. We have an unexpected EOF while passing. Again, not very helpful comment, but nevertheless, it has again indicated the line that's on this, this red bar. So that tells us we've missed the bracket and we need to replace the bracket, we need to put it back. And the third type of error is maybe we've misspelled the function or because, because uh, Python is case sensitive, we might have put a capital for print, for example, and that, that won't work. So print, capital P for print, is not gonna work. We have to have all lowercase for, for that function. So I'm going to run this now and actually saved. And then what we actually get is an error in the, in the interpreter here and it tells us all this writing writing in red here tells us that print is not defined so it's telling us it can't find that function of course it can't because print with a capital P doesn't exist it's also helpfully telling us the line is on so actually this is a quite helpful message we've had there and from that we, we can work out quite easily where the error is and we can fix it. So line two is telling us, and it's telling us the print is not defined. So we go back up here, change P back to print. Now again, we're gonna save that, and then we're gonna run our program just to make sure that it works.